high above Earth on the International Space Station, clusters of nerve cells called organoids are developing in ways scientists didn't previously think was possible. Organoids are an artificially grown mass of cells or tissue that resembles an organ. It's been only six years since scientists created the first brain organoid from human skin cells. In 2016, Dr. Priscilla Negres began eavesdropping on organoids. She stuck them to the bottom of a well that was lined with 64 electrodes. When a neuron in the organoids fired, one of the electrodes would light up. The organoids turned out to be surprisingly noisy and with each passing week, they got noisier. Then she noticed that patterns were emerging. Most of the neurons would suddenly start firing in a synchronized burst, a pattern that looked remarkably like brain waves. In one strange experiment, scientists linked a brain organoid and a spider-shaped robot so that the two could exchange signals. Dr. Negres and her colleagues began working with brainwave experts and they found some similarities between the organoids and the brains of premature infants. The babies and the organoids both produce bursts of synchronized activity followed by quiet lulls. It's a bizarre finding that could force scientists to revisit the limitations of lab-grown mini-organs and the ethical issues surrounding them. The many brains aboard the ISS were grown a few weeks earlier in the biology lab of Dr. Muotri at the University of California, San Diego. The organoids grew into balls about the size of a pinhead, each containing hundreds of thousands of cells in a variety of types, each type producing the same chemicals and electrical signals as those in our own brains. In July, NASA stowed the organoids inside a metal box fed by bags of nutritious broth, then sent them to space to see how they would develop in zero gravity. The box is a rough prototype of a device that someday might produce organoids without human intervention. Dr. Muotri noticed the same complex patterns of neural activity in the space brains as Dr. Negres did in her experiments. He told the New York Times, there are some of my colleagues who say, no, these things will never be conscious. Now, I'm not so sure. If you're into the technology that will be changing our lives in the near future, then subscribe to my channel because that's what we discuss. Until next time, the world is getting weird. Perspective is encouraged.